first season, every song, I mean, every episode was named after a gangster song. Yeah. I love how Method Man was in the first season, I love how we got the God, Rock Him in the second, yeah. and Atticus. So my question to you is, do you have any interactions with those gentlemen, you know, behind the scenes, how it was led, you, you know, further we, elaborate? We asked kind of Marvin Jones that in my last Black Lightning, yeah. you know, because his background is, is music, uh -huh. even got it, and they were asking who comes up with the, uh, the music, uh, do you That's, have any influence in suggesting the music? I, I, I mean, I, there's so many people I, I like, and um, most people I like Shale. Like, Shale's, Shale's got the, he's got the, the library, he's got the musical um, taste, he's got the, 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 wherewith, the wherewithal to pick the best, he's got connections, you know, he wrote for Vibe, Source Magazine, um, he's got people on speed dial, he knows the artists, he's good about picking established artists that are very good, that are not being celebrated necessarily because it's just, you know, it's just a generational thing. You know, now we have different forms of rap, which, hey, listen, I have no problem listening to some of the music out there right now. It's, it has its place, and, I, and I, 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 will, I will bump that music. But I know also, I understand the, the quality of music and, and the depth of music, and so I, I, I appreciate the people still like the Jay-Z's and the Nas and the Wu-Tang Clan. These guys are still great. Red Man, you know, these guys are still putting it down. We brought KRS one you know, um, Rakim, um, Pete Rock, you know, we have, you know, we have so many people like like one of my favorite was Gary Clark Jr. from uh, the, in the second season. You know, he's, he's Gary Clark Jr. is phenomenal. You know, I, I love bringing artists that on the show who are on the cusp of something great or that or, and that they're still developing and people that are already established. I mean, that's that's what Chael does. I mean, he's, he's, either you're on your way or you're established and you're not necessarily being celebrated the way you should. So we want to shine light again on these on these artists. So it's, we come up with authentic great artists and the soundtracks are excellent. And then we have Adrian Young and Ali uh, Shahid Muhammad, who was from Tribe Called West, and those guys are composing the music. So between those things, composing music, we have an album, a whole album for every episode. There's that much music to be had. They're composing with a live orchestra, and I've seen them you know, do it, but it's, it's something that people don't do. They don't do that anymore, so it's, yeah. it's I'm, I'm, I'm old school, and, and I see you in the series, and, and every time I see you like walking down the street, you headed for the barbershop or whatever, I'm hearing Isaac Hayes yeah. in, my, in my brain in the background, and I say, yeah. There you go, modern day chef going yeah. down a street, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hi. Uh, so, hey, Mike. Um, I know you had like a scene, like dark, like a character in Million Dollar Baby, like in the two thousand or something like that. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, I know, like, that Jessica Jones and like you know Luke Cage, you're like power man, you're like big and super buff, and like you made a boxer in like, Million Dollar Baby, you're super buff then. But um, I was wondering if there was ever like a time in between you where you were like kind of out of shape and I was like, I doubt you. <laughs> Yeah. Did I let myself go? Did you ask me to let myself go? Is that what you're saying? I was wondering where he was going. Did I ever let myself go? I mean, there are times where I probably ate a few cheese pieces of cheesecake. There are times where I probably had some pizza. Um, I, I don't. I don't really like to work out. To be honest with you, I don't. No. I mean, I I like to work out when it's up to my discretion how much I work out. And honestly, when I'm not when I'm not filming, it's, it's I like to take a break. So you know, I'm, I'm getting to the gym. If I, if I'm lucky twice a week, maybe sometimes not even that because I travel so much. I mean, you know, I do it when I can. But when I go in there, sometimes I'm going, why not again? Why am I here? You know, this is like one of those things. Um, so when I get back to, to going to another season, if we get a lucky lucky enough to get another season, I'm gonna get my boy um, to uh, to Celine to, to come back. We're training hard. I might start doing some posts and stuff like that. Motivation to, to post and, and get some. Get some real training going on because I want to. I want to. I want to inspire people to work out um, because at the end of the day, when you look good, you feel good. You know that's just the way it is. You know that if you if you look good, if you if you haven't tried it yet, get yourself a nice body. Just go out there and work out. <laughs> see what happens. Just see what happens when you change your physique and, and, and the confidence and all that stuff like that. See, I had confidence before I got the muscles. So I'm like, wait a minute, this this is actually helping even more. So I, I, I encourage you to try it. I mean, it's, it's, it's actually pretty good, so. I'm lost, forget it. I gotta burn that <laughs> couch first. I gotta set that listen, couch on fire. Listen, if you let yourself go, it doesn't mean you can't pick yourself back up. It's not on so purpose, dude, believe me. I'm oh, doing okay. it. There's a testimonial over here. What's going on, Working out is hard. Working out is hard. It's hard out there for, for, for a, a PE instructor, right? Is that the PE Next question. <laughs> <laughs>